Good evening, ladies, excuse me. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen of the council. My name is Joan Briano. I'm a candidate for Fullerton City Council. I also run the FullertonInformer.com website. Just a little bit of uh, corrections here. Uh, the Fullerton Observer seems to have a problem uh, publishing my name in it, unless it's in a derogatory fashion. But I was the one who made the first round of comments in here. My name is Joe Embriano for anyone from the Observer here that's reporting. So you can get your names right in there. I'm not a speaker, I'm a human being. I'm also a Fullerton resident. The uh, library is a very interesting topic. I wanted to bring to your attention again, uh, you were all in receipt of an email from uh, Cece on a potential movie night for informing the public on the dangers of wireless radiation, whether it be from cell towers, from Wi-Fi systems that you're going to install citywide or in the schools or the smart meter issue. This is an issue of grave public concern. You've all ignored it. So I, I really want to encourage you to do the right thing. We spent tens of millions of dollars on libraries, remodels, and we've got a huge parks and rec budget. We can have films under the stars. We can inform the public. You're here to serve the public. The library is in existence to disseminate information, not to censor information. And I believe that's why I called for the resignation of Mr. Cantor as the board president because of his deliberate censoring of this information and not bringing forward what was given to him. Uh, I have an email that he was in receipt of this that did not enter into the public record nor bring it up in the meeting. I really have a hard time sitting here with the, uh, the water issue. I don't know how long all of you are going to ignore the geoengineering. It is so obvious that when you look up in the sky every day that that is not what is supposed to be there. Ms. Fitzgerald, I, has, I, I heard you ask the Lord to bring rain. I can tell you right now, if you want the Lord to bring rain, I think you need to talk to some people to get them to stop spraying that stuff up there that's altering the weather. Ladies and gentlemen, it is called geoengineering. It is a reality. It is a fact. It is what is directly responsible for our drought. And looking the other way and pretending this is going to go away is not going to solve anything. We are being put into a very untenable situation. And the longer we ignore the reality of what is being done to us, the further behind the eight ball we're going to become as a city. We had a room full of children here playing the recorders of fourth grade girls. I've talked at length about what's at stake with the reproductive capabilities of these children with the wireless threat to them in the Fullerton School District. And, you know, I just find it so ironic, you know, we get, we get emotional with the children playing the music, but you sit here and you've turned your backs on them. This letter was sent to all of you. I've spoken ad nauseum at what's going on with the children in this community. It's despicable. I mean, these children are in harm's way. Your elected representatives, as uh, you're to dispense the public trust, you're supposed to have our backs. And when someone reaches out to you to reach out to the community, please convey Thank that you. information. Thank you. Next speaker. Good evening. My name is Laura 